yeah, so I think because of that, um, that's where this, that I think the fraternity itself has come together to sort of support one another. And I mean, for like, for me, okay, la, I, I, I can just say that, okay, uh, you know, uh, what I can do is that uh, we just need to get together and, and I think using this downtime to, to, to just uh, be creative and just look at our, uh, how we can expand our expertise in, in a different way. For example, create your own uh, training videos on, on YouTube, mm. on Instagram, mm. uh, which I think I, I've seen, I'm seeing a lot of the, my, my peers in the industry okay. doing training videos on Facebook, on TikTok videos, <laughs> even TikTok videos on, on, on TikTok, on Instagram and all that. Yeah. What, what, kind, of, but, what kind of training are they, are they doing? I mean, can you just share? I mean, like... Oh, uh, some of them are actually, uh, you know, like what we are doing now. Like they are interviewing one, one another, just talking about uh, production, uh, coming up with podcasts. Uh, so, podcast, yeah. There's, there's, there's two or three which I know they just come out like uh, three weeks ago, two three weeks ago, and then uh, yeah. Uh, when you when you talk about these guys, are they in the mainstream or in, they are in our community? Yeah. Oh, because uh, I'm just talking about mainstream, uh, mainstream, general, okay. uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, general. <laughs> Whereas if we talk about the, I mean, it's easy for us to say that oh, you know, uh. Uh, don't worry, just, just uh, think of this COVID and stay at home to, to basically look, look at yourself and, and basically see how you can sort of market yourself by doing other things so that once, we, once the COVID pandemic is, is over, we can, you know, you can actually, perhaps you can find a different kind of uh, avenue and a different way of seeing yourself and where you can market yourself. And also I think um, it's easy for us because, you know, but the reality is that there are these guys who just want jobs, just want money and jobs. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's the hardest part, yeah. So I think it's, yeah. it's really hard. Lah. And, and yeah, I know like some of them are really, really like, um, I don't want to mention names, lah, but I personally know a few young much of like really, really depressed, lah, you know. They were like some, okay, uh, they are either selling, uh, stuff on 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 carousel social media social media and doing those uh live uh auction yeah. and all that and even I mean, go back again to macam jual makanan you know and and all stuff so yeah, I mean, it's it's just the sign of times it's like really really bad it's okay and, and, and it's okay yeah it's fine yeah yeah uh yeah. Askan halala. you know like yeah, you know like some yeah. actor young young you know some artists young Doing grab and all that, which I think is is good. I mean, it's a good way. It's okay. It's, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. I mean, uh, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong. Uh, yeah. I yeah. mean, no need to be ego at this point of time, yeah. right? I mean, yeah. Like, yeah. So I think yeah. that 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 really highlights the the what's going on at, at this point of time. Like, really, really, you know, it's it's really um where we are at, yeah. at this point of time. Really like, desperate moments. All right. Desperate and, and, times and, and, for different desperate measures. You see, can I can I add something? Right. I mean, like you see, like for most of us freelancers, right? Actually, right. kita before the circuit breaker pun, we kais pagi makan pagi pun, <laughs> right? True, so it's yeah. like macam, for all these years, by right eh, tak ada apa-apa lah. Okay pun, what's the, what's, the, what's the, you know, we are expecting oh. like, uh, not much difference. But suddenly, it's like, it's it, like this time round, it's like really, really, tak ada job lah. You know, macam dulu like, you kais pagi makan pagi, but suddenly like, next week you have a job, you know? I mean like, kalau rezeki you ada, rezeki you ada, right? I mean like, you will get jobs lah, you know? But I'm sure like this time around is really, really different. You know? Yeah, it's so, like, it's like, basically it's like, you know, pre okay, for example, previously, right? It's like, you want, when you know that you won't get, do anything for this particular week or this particular month, you know that the other avenues are open, still open. But now the problem is that, you are not doing any jobs and then the, everything else is closed. So it's like, hey, you know, it's like, that's where the, the, the setback is, you know? So that's, I think, yeah. creates that, that tension in the, in the, creates more tension. All right. Do you think and that, that the, the, this thing going to be extended uh, after 1st June? I mean, oh. like, I, mean, I think it is. Of, you think, is it? I, think, I mean, like, okay. Um, even though, okay, 
with regards to jobs for freelancers in the creative line, right? I think what's going to happen is that even though the CV is going to be lifted or eased, right? But when you look at it, a lot of the uh, companies, your know, the big big clients, right? They are still trying to find themselves, yeah. and it will take maybe another uh, one year minimum. One year, yeah, for them to gather minimum. their own finances, and then they will say, "Hey, freelancers, let's do something yeah. else." Huh? Correct. Then they will start to market something, and then you guys would, you know, fill in the fill in yeah. the fill in and the yeah. So it's oh. like so. I can see that it's going to be next year. This year is going to be really really. Oh uh, yeah, Yeah, correct. But but yet again, like those people, yeah, Wallapo is being lifted. Let's say, I'm sure there's some production houses. They are still the job are still there, right? I mean, they have to shoot and, you know. Yeah, but the right? now the problem is that MDA right, uh, sort of like have this like blanket, blanket ban on know that. any production. Yeah, back to blanket ban on any production unless it's for. Uh, current so COVID nineteen related current affairs lah. Current affairs and COVID related yeah. uh, programs or filming. Yeah, but what I mean is like let's say after first June, let's say they, but this oh, blanket okay. is what until first June or, I mean what what's your uh, understanding on that? For now is as long as the circuit breaker is on. Yeah, so after first June it might be lifted, right? Maybe also? hopefully yes, correct. Maybe hopefully yes, correct. Yeah. And hopefully, I'm sure some production yes, houses still have their jobs. You know, the young, uh, the, those, those, those uh, remaining uh, kind of awarded, yeah. yeah, so it's like, it's quite a, I mean, it might not save everyone, but I think there's still, yeah, there's still a couple of jobs that might be, you guys need to finish by end of this year, I assume, you know, yeah, true, true, yeah. the TX might there's be next year. So. There's, there's quite a number of jobs, lah. yeah, correct. Yeah, but of course, the non-TV, the non, the private production, that those those who are really depending on marketing for a company yeah. might really it's really be affected. Year, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, that that yeah. might be. Yeah. yeah, so yeah, okay. <laughs> wow, well, it's not easy. Huh? Actually, it's not easy. actually, come to a bit. Um, there's also this. Uh, I think what what what's happening now is that the the MDA right uh, has come up with this plan called the. Uh, let me let me let me see the name properly. Yeah, yeah. It's called the. Uh, uh, oh, it's called the. Uh, okay, public service content fund. Uh, initiated by, by MDA. See there, Sunny. No, Sunny. Ah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and there's this there, yeah. there's this fund called the public service con public content service fund, where basically it's just to yeah. uh, to get the creatives lah, young 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 tarik kerja to actually do something lah, from the writers, the producers to the production crew. Because what's happening now is that uh, they tie in, they have this initiative with three companies, uh, mainly MediaCorp, and then. Uh, VC and SPH. Uh, Who's giving so, this grant? Who's giving this uh, grant? MDA, MDA. Oh, IMDA. Okay. Sorry, IMDA. Correct. IMDA. IMDA. Okay. That's good. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. So it kind of helped a bit to you know, macam, to jumpstart that. Okay. Okay. This creative ideas lah. Okay. So what is the, the grant? Grant about? I mean, what is the deliverables? I mean, like oh, I'm sure okay. it's not just kasi kasi gitu, right? You got yep, to yep. produce something Basically, or... what happened was that the initiative, they worked with mm. three companies, uh, Miracorp, uh, VC, and um, SPH, Singapore, uh, yeah, SPH. La. So, mm. the, so yeah. okay, well, what's going to happen is that, um, okay, different companies, they have different uh, objectives for different teams for their content, but essentially, uh, each content, uh, they require, is about 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes of content. Uh, and then, uh, short, short contents up to, I think, okay, don't quote me on this. Uh, you, uh, to clarify, you need to go to the website. Uh, yeah. But somehow, it's, it's something. <laughs> okay, something about, uh, they will give you up to $150,000 to create content. 
uh, for one company lah. Yeah. Okay. So so basically, okay, for details you can go to the to the website lah. So what happened is was it that? The, hmm, sorry, Flixer was asking, is it the deadline of fifteen May? Is this the one? The what? Sorry. Uh, is the deadline of whatever you're sharing? Uh, is it on uh, by fifteen May? Flix, okay. Flixer is asking. Yeah. Oh, that one is uh. I think for the media corp, the media corp is deadline is by fifteen of May. I think fifteen of May because it started. They launched the they launched the grant in twenty third of April. Uh, whereas the one on BC will be launched in May eleven or something. Sorry, sorry. I I need you need to go to the website. <laughs> yeah, Ra Razi was yeah. saying that a uh, total of hundred and fifty k max. Yes, correct. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So for one company and yeah, so for details you can do that. So it, I, I, actually, what happens is that this girl, I think it it sort of help us to use this circuit breaker when we are not doing anything to actually write yeah, content. Exactly. And I think, yeah. like I said earlier, right? I think I'm using like people like myself. I'm using this this break at home to actually focus and opportunity to write ideas, lah. Oh, then that is not so bad after all. I mean, at least, at least there's a carrot up there, you know. <laughs> yeah, true, true. Yeah. So it's yeah. just that whether you yeah. want to be or not, lah. Yeah. 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 Up and going, to start filming lah. Yeah. Better than nothing, lah. You guys can. Yeah, better than nothing. At least there's something that you guys can work about. I mean, like if it's hundred and fifty is about, okay, like it's not much lah. But at least something lah. Three, yeah, correct. Three, three or four apps, you know. Four, four, like six apps or something of ten minutes, fifteen minutes each lah. I think yeah, correct. So I think there's 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 much something for us to look forward to. But but yet again, it's national, right? So like yes, national. A lot. Yeah. So. Challenging lah, so that's yeah, the. Correct. But what to do? Better than nothing. <laughs> that's, the way, that's the way it goes lah. It's like you just yeah, have to crack your brains. Better than nothing lah. To do properly, yeah, correct. Oh man. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh. So so that's that's what I think most of the creatives are sort of like writing now. So just waiting for the deadline to just which I'm submit after that. I see, I see. Okay, we got a couple of uh, minutes left. I mean, wh whoever is out there, I mean, like, you can just throw in questions. Uh, maybe question for me to you. I mean, like, I think uh, we pretty discussed much about credit, uh, the script breaker theory and stuff. Yep. Yeah, I mean, like, um, yeah, we like we like cliche questions, no? So it's like, Sanif also pitching, of course lah. Are you pitching or not, Sanif? <laughs> Razi, Razi, Razi. Razi, salam. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you you know you all can come elaborate or what I don't know. <laughs> yes, of course. Yes. Can. Yeah. It's a small community. We should all 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 get together. Yeah, the deadline is soon, right? Fifteen May. This is not fifteen May, right? I, I, I. Yeah, I mean they I'm got to check. Sure somewhere there, yeah. I'm somewhere there, correct? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Correct. Back to my question. Uh, cliche question. Beside yourself, who would you look up to? Uh, in Singapore or at least in Nusantara, uh, the 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 type of director that you think that hey you know if this guy were to produce you know, I would, I would I would watch I would like you know, would so not say support lah I mean you would support everyone but like to you is like much worth watching and you know anyone oh, that no, you would uh, like to. The name that comes to uh, mind is this guy called called uh I think Kabi Kabi Batia ah. Uh, Kabi Batia oh, from I Malaysia and also and I think from Indonesia is uh, Hanung 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 lah Hanung from yeah correct so I think what happened was that okay for Kabi right what happened was that when I first started to do my mainstream drama he was mm. I think he was the first few dramas that I come in okay he was like the main director I sort of like macam come under his macam you know learning uh, Below him lah. Follow him lah. <laughs> I I cannot follow him. Yeah. So follow him. Uh, okay. So that was my first few drama. I think we did the first two years. So I from there Singapore I Singapore lah. Like, in Singapore, right? Singapore, yes, correct. Yeah. Okay. When he was in Singapore, right. uh, so when he started work, I'm I'm just amazed by his sense of vision, vision, 
like how we capture the the visual because like okay for example like uh when we talk about the set right not every set is ideal right but we need to get those visuals to carry the story forward right right so what he did was that he instead of having the set limit your creative vision he sort of like used the set to basically uh, represent what is supposed to be so represented yes okay how do okay. i tell this uh? okay how, how do i do this uh? okay for example like mm. um okay in the room right for example there's mm. four walls right mm. and you have a tv and like behind me is the cabinet right mm. right so for example uh you do not need to use that whatever is already fixed in the room to tell the story you can actually move things around okay okay yeah like in terms of angles right you can actually move things around which i've been doing for the last donkey years lah <laughs> so sometimes my, <laughs> my so sometimes when my my ad especially and the set the set set person right whenever they, i come on set right sometimes i just shift like the dining table like you know to the other side of the room to the other side just to get the shot because yeah. sometimes you need that for the purpose of your framing Understood. and telling a story yeah correct mm. you cannot limit like oh just because the dining room is here or oh, you, you cannot get your angles you can actually move move the tables and actually just reframe the the shots lah. so that's what i mean lah. so that's what he did you see so i thought hey, yeah not bad lah. i mean this was when i was like still kid you know, like like still quite quite new in the industry lah, and trying my foot on, on on directing for for television so i watch his the way he does um yeah so when you watch his films now right you can actually see like the way he framed his uh frame his shots yeah so i kind of learned a lot from that lah. yeah so when you if you happen to watch my my drama series right sometimes i i don't follow what is in the house i just like you know uh, as long as it carries the idea of the of that particular moment ah uh, understand then i will just shoot it uh, i don't let the whatever is in the house to limit that moment lah am i making sense <laughs> ini bahan ini semua geng-geng director bahan. Okay anyway, Razi Salam was saying uh um uh, Kabir, my idol since no cassette. Yes. Yeah. And he also you also his idol lah Sanif. <laughs> and yes, Fix was saying that uh, kira that time kau belum legend lah. <laughs> But anyway. <laughs> yeah, so for for Razi and uh, uh Flick Shot eh. Apa-apa you want to ask you ask now. <laughs> we got a couple of minutes left. I think we got about 10 minutes left, you know. Oh, 10 minutes okay. Oh, yeah, it's very fast, it's very fast. But I'm 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 uh, Sharon Ali just joined. So like I'm I'm quite grateful that Razi and at least uh, Flick Shot stayed throughout lah. <laughs> so guys, this is the time to ask, bro. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to be. Don't tengah type eh. <laughs> Apa nak tanya Sandi? <laughs> so uh she, Uh, also, can can that, can I share about about this this uh, uh, apa about the because I think a lot of people also ask me like like how uh, how do I how do we how do how to become a director I think hmm. seriously I mean I have students like like coming up to me and let's ask these kind of random questions but I think right. for us it seems to me that I mean it might seem trivial for someone like us who have done stuff for dog years hmm. but I think these kids are uh, The question is very genuine. Like, how how do you become director? I mean, how do you, like, I mean, other than going to film school, how do you like create your craft and create the craft and basically, uh, kind of like be mature to tackle your topics lah, to tackle your issues. So my my answer to them is very simple. You know, don't restrict yourself. I mean, if you really want to become a director or writer, right, especially, don't limit yourself to just watching movies yeah yeah you need to go to museums uh, you need to go to you need to meet a lot of weird people you need okay. to observe a lot observe a lot yeah correct yes. so if empathy weird people, okay, okay, again, weird, <laughs> again weird people yeah. is very subjective right so what yeah. i mean is that 
you need to just widen your circle of friends, circle of contacts in the creative line. It can be like someone, I don't know, an artist or, or uh, I don't know, uh, a performance artist or something. Because these these guys, they are they really their ideas are really out there. That sometimes when you watch their product, right, it's like whoa, what I didn't know I can do that or that can be achieved by whatever you know. So these guys are non TV personnel. Non TV, yeah, correct. They are in the theater scene or theater scene, but they're still in industry, the, the like. performance arts and all that. Oh, that's cool. That's nice. Yeah. That's nice. I mean, yeah, so, so that's what I do because when you meet these people, right, I think when you are trying to mature as a director, you need to see all this, you need to meet and talk to all these guys mm. and make friends with them so that you can get into their head space. Mm. And I think when you are a director or writer, right, you cannot be. Also, you cannot your your train of thought, your perspective, your perspective of the perspective of the world cannot be like cannot be like one cannot be like black and white because there's this gray area, right? Yeah. Uh, so when you come across come in contact with this 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 kind of people, I mean these these guys, right? These colorful guys, colorful friends, right? It helps you to be more wise, more mature in your thinking of the human condition. Yeah. And I think when you have that that sort of acceptance, it translates well to your to your work. Definitely. Right? Yeah, it makes you see like from the different point of view. Um, yeah, sometimes when you write, yes, you need to make a stand, but then again, you need to be able to see the other perspective to be able to come to a conclusion. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Yeah, yeah so sometimes, yeah, sometimes it's really like, like for example, like, I mean, okay, like see, when we come down to level this uh, simple things like, uh, you know, this lady, this sovereign lady, the sovereign lady, yeah, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm personally, okay, personally, I'm very curious about her as a person. So like, you're inspired by her? Lah. Yeah, exactly, like, <laughs> Somewhat, I mean, this lady, she can be so articulate, thinks, right? yeah, so articulate, so, so, so poised, and actually say, I'm sovereign, okay, the, you know, it's like, <laughs> It's like, second hey, time, bro. Where, second time. Yeah. yeah, where does that, where does that energy come from, man? It's like, you can actually, I mean, it's like, she against the world. <laughs> it's like, she can still say. She's prepared for it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, this is what I mean by interesting people that I think that really, really inspire me. It's like, how does this guy sort of like, I mean, have that. Firstly, importantly, is the confidence to actually say, you know, I'm, a, I'm sovereign. I'm, I'm over the people. Uh, I'm not. A, I'm not a person. I'm, I'm not people. The people. So it's like, whoa! It's like you know. Yeah. So I think it's important that filmmakers or other uh, aspiring directors lah to meet, to get exposed to all these people, and I think that that kind of like colors your perspective of the world when you the apply work. to your to your work. Yeah, correct. When you apply to the work lah. And yeah, so it's, it's, it's simple as that. I mean, uh, all this film theory can only get you far, but it, it only sort of like polishes your, your skill, but in term, the technical skill, but in terms of the perspective and the maturity of your work, right? I think this is where all these people around you sort of inspire your work further. Yeah. Wow, simple as that. I mean, Nice. Yeah. So it's it's like it's like it's like, yeah. It's like um, when you talk about yeah. So that's basically big, big, big a director, and is and this won't happen in one or two years. You need like this group of friends to people to inspire and all group, that stuff. Yeah. So, yeah. The situation, the scenario, the the pressures and stuff like that, right? Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Oh. And I think these are the people that inspire me. Like really, really. Yeah. Lately, as I said, the sovereign lady really inspired me. I was like, where she, where the hell did she get this confidence from? I mean, like in in your in your line of work, right? I mean, do you actually like currently? Do you like the, the story and everything? Do you actually write or you just direct? And if you were to do, if you were to write, do you actually write about whatever happening around you? You know, would in fact, I do. Uh, yeah. For example, like this, you are asking me about this COVID pan pandemic. Oh, previously, right? la, Previously, yeah, I mean, correct, in yeah. Your... yeah. Oh, previously. Uh, okay. To be honest, I think for TV work, right? I I think eighty percent of the time I'm more like a director for hire. Ah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yes. some, yeah, some, correct. Some, yeah, 
Yeah, most of the time. But for so, if I do my own uh, writing, work, or? my own writing, my own films, and my own projects, it's more of my work. It's more mm. something which uh, I write based on the people that I'm inspired from. So it's not like you not know, plucked from the sky, like you don't create, like you would like be inspired, like somewhat turn it or turn it into a storyline, yeah. right? I mean, it's based yeah, on yeah. based on true story, yeah. lah. Just, per se. <laughs> just yeah, uh, observations. Just uh, observation. I mean, if you if you follow my my work, right, my my mm, films mm, and mm, all that, mm. even those uh, PSAs from uh, government bodies, lah, there is some sort of personal stories about me inside those those films. Like, like can, yeah. you, uh, can you give an example like the 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 com- uh, commando blah, you know the the, the barber thing oh uh, yeah yeah the yeah, the, the one about the yeah this the, short film the called yes the the short film called the usual that was mm. commissioned by basically by Sydney City Five from the Mindef side mm, 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 yeah mm. so that was actually inspired by me growing up in Jalan Majapahit uh right. going to the barber right because oh, I'm nice. yeah because I'm so I only started to move to urban Jurong, right? Uh, when I was seven. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So those memories that I have are those like when you are a child, six and below. Uh, still very idealized and very fun and, you know. Yeah. So things like going down to the barber, things like meeting the, your Chinese neighbors, meeting your Indian neighbors, talking to them and seeing what they have around their house. Those are, these are the idealized kind of images, memories that I have when I was growing up back then. But once you move to the city, right, the urban Jurong, it's just like everything just, oh shit, this, this is the reality of life. <laughs> yeah, so those are, those are the kind of stories which are inspired. And then they, I did yeah, this other one called Sama Sama as well, also mm. uh, commissioned by, by Mindef. So that was basically inspired by my experience in, in the commandos. Lah. And then after that, uh, yeah, in fact, all the earlier stories, uh, if, uh, things like my first three short films like uh, Lost Soul and then Alafoli and I mean, those are basically what, when I was still, you know, at, when you're at the age where you're struggling with spirituality, like where, how does religion fit into your life? So I was going through that, that stage that, so that, that was when the film, the, those three films were made. Mm. It's all like questioning spirituality not not questioning islam but questioning the uh our relationship with our own spirituality your own self so, la. you know you're yeah, exactly your like, own uh, yeah yeah correct yeah. that's normal yeah. yeah so is that so yeah so those are the films which i think is very very personal la. and um even things like the one i did for mccy right mci uh the manifest which I think you came for the launch. Yeah, for the yeah, the one about the spaceship. Yeah, those also are a bit has has got a bit of a, a bit of a, personal story to it as well. Oh, but like how? Like which part? Okay, the this is space thing. <laughs> okay, there's 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 oh, this two okay, characters okay, okay. played by Kang. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. And and yeah. So uh, and Siva, right? So it's the same thing. So the questions that Siva asked is actually a lot of personal questions uh, so yeah quite true uh. yeah yeah okay <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. yeah so and also i think you know this idea about always questioning the authenticity Sorry. or the validity Sorry. of of Probably new statement. citizens new statements oh yeah no yeah, yeah. is that yeah yeah so this will these are the questions that will always be asked regardless of the regardless of the years lah. I mean, I can imagine like in the future, right, in, in 2000 something or 3000 something, people will, will still be asking your validity as a Singaporean. So that's why I put that story way into the future lah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Way future, oh, bro. <laughs> way, way future. <laughs> okay, that's cool. Okay, we got two questions here. Uh, one from Razi Sanam. When can we expect your next full length film? And uh, from Andy Idris, talk about your Bowen, Boyan background. <laughs> so like, oh, Boyan, how did yeah. this Boyan lah, Boyan background? How did this? Yeah, how did this influence your work? Oh, yeah. Feel free to answer. <laughs> oh. Which one you want to answer first? Oh, 
Eh kena cut off ah. Okay, Sanif, okay, we got to lah. Sanif. For IG, IG is cut off. I I I would I would wait, let me share this first. Then I would back on IG. Ah. Dah makin banyak pula orang tengok. <laughs> okay, um, we are on IG again. Okay. You you see me? Yes. Luckily we got this zoom zoom thing lah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can see. You. Sorry, sorry. IG is one hour, so we, now we got another one hour. <laughs> so okay, okay. You okay, were the questions. The questions. Yeah. The next film, long long length film. Okay, Razi, the question. Okay. Uh... The rest need to join, say. I'm not, we lost them, lah. I hope they. Yeah, I hope they. Yeah, but Razi is here. Okay, so we can we can answer his questions. Lah. We wait for the rest okay. to come in again. Yeah. I don't know because uh actually yeah to be honest I have I have this a few ideas for feature lah, but hmm. then again it's uh, again it's because my my. When I do features or films, right, I, I I like to go into the social commentary kind of uh, topics. Uh, it doesn't have to be typical uh, Malay, Malay, Malay. It can be a Singapore story. It it is it it is a Singapore story, but I think told from the Malay perspective because that's the that's the most uh, uh, that's the best way that I can tell the story from the Malay story because that's what I'm familiar with. Yeah. But I think in terms of the next feature, I think yeah, hopefully there's money. <laughs> some some you have to or some some connections or something. I think there's there's like it's like the idea is there, but you need the uh the the fun or something to push you to it. You, you know lah as usual we have this idea we just keep in corner but hopefully uh Things will will get by, yeah. So 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 is that. But so, so but having said that, now with your technology, right? I mean, like, do you expect that to make a film will be the same or it might cost lesser, less marketing, just production? Do you think that it might be cheaper now because of uh, technology and stuff? Less the marketing, uh, of course. Okay, I think we are at a very interesting situation right now, because mm. as you said. Uh, technology is getting very cheap, and then cheaper. And you are also getting, uh, I mean, cheaper in the sense that you can cameras are cheap, and then you can even edit on your own desktop. That's it, right? But I think, regardless of the technology, the story still is still king, lah. You still need, um, I mean, there's a, there's a there's a story and there's a story. It's like you have the story told in a very cheap cheap kind of relatively cheap uh, equipment but then again uh, if the story if the same story is told with a bigger budget it will be presented better it will be presented better lah. yeah but then again again in terms of what story is better is still very subjective lah. you know yeah. it's, it's uh, but uh, but from my experience I think uh, you see eh, you know much like audience I think you can only when the story is good, regardless of the technicality, the color, whatever, people will still buy. It. People will still come and watch it. Like for example, macam apa ya? Uh, macam apa story ya? Uh, oh, macam Godzilla, huh? right? Godzilla. Godzilla. Yeah, yeah. For example, okay. Right? okay. Godzilla, when it came out, I'm talking about the recent one, the one, two, three, yeah. okay? Uh, and then the recent one is three, the, starring the girl from, uh, what's that? What's that Netflix series? Uh? Uh, okay, whatever. Okay, anyway, it's uh, Godzilla, for example. Eh? Okay, uh, the, when, when they came out with the trailers, right? People were wowed by the by the trailer, by the, how it's it's being edited, by the you know by the visual lah. But then again, when you watch the story, it's happening, like, you know. Godzilla <laughs> ma. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay. so, so people are kind of duped by the idea that oh, technology means that the story is good. 
But then again, when you look at the simple story, it's like when you actually watch the movie, it's like a chicken story. But then again, uh, that's what I meant by, you know, you can only wow the audience with technology this much, but when the story sucks, la, it, you cannot sustain story the audience. Is king, la. Story is king. Yeah, yeah, correct. Yeah, You need to sustain the audience beyond the, the 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes. And then the, the, the people will just watch. For example, this latest one, which I saw, uh, Marriage Story. The one with uh, Scarlett Johansson and the Kylo Ren in Star Wars. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, sorry, I don't know his name. I've gotten his name, but I only know him as Kylo Ren from Star Wars. <laughs> and anyway. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah, so anyway, that's a, because this story is about, it just focus on the story. There's no te technology, there's no technological wizardry or something. It's just, it's just, story you know basically about a couple who are on the on the on the brink of the divorce adam driver and adam driver <laughs> yes correct yes yes correct i don't know yes correct thanks yeah. thanks flicks okay yeah thanks yeah. Flicks, yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah so so is that they just focus on the story and the acting and i think that will carry the story forward and of course uh but then again not all movies need technology some movies can, can just be told straight. Uh, that's it. Uh, yeah, so, so is that, that uh, technology. And going back to your question about being cheap, right? I think, yes, I think... Uh, I'll ask that. <laughs> okay, oh, I think mind. back to the... the, uh, the, the that question. This, uh. this, this, this idea about how we can shoot cheap right now. Uh, I think, again, yes, we are in this situation where uh, everything can be done relatively cheap. Lesser, lesser cost. La, eh? we, lesser cost. Cheap is yes, a correct. strong word. La. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the cause, yeah. So I think, again, people just need, uh, I think, yeah, the stories is one. I think secondly, is importantly, I think a lot of people missed out, right, is good performance mm. from the cast. Okay, you may have good story, but if your actors are basically not good, lah, not I there yet. Really, okay, it really, it really like brings it down the story. It I doesn't think. deliver, yeah. lah. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah, but okay. You just need like, you just need an, an actor who has a, I don't know, just a decent... Basic knowledge of acting. Or basic knowledge feel. of acting and really yeah. just, you know... Feel. Yeah, yeah feel. Yeah, correct. Oh, feel. talking about actors, right? I think yeah. I've come across a lot of times where on set, right? People come on set, mm. the non-actors and the wannabe actors, yeah, sorry, out there. If you, yeah, I'm gonna record this, you know. <laughs> it's recording actually, but never mind. Be, okay. If you, it's if for you consider yourself of this this, uh, this group of actors, yeah. Uh, I'm sorry about that. Okay. But I think <laughs> if you expect to come on set and think that uh, the set will be your classroom, how to act? I think you are wrong. Don't do that. Yeah, I think that's really wrong because firstly, you are wasting everyone's time. Uh, especially when you are on, on the drama set. And secondly, no one expect to be spoon packed. I think everyone, when you are on set, right? Uh, I think everyone, not just myself, everyone, expect you to have a decent level of Readiness. Readiness. Readiness and artistry. Professionalism and all this. Right? Yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly. Yeah, correct. Yeah. I think, yeah, don't expect to come on set to be spoon fed. Uh, to be spoon fed and expecting it to be like a classroom, like to be taught how to act on set while we are filming. Because you, like do you see this every year or every production? Do you get this every time? Or I can see every time. It, yeah, correct. <laughs> okay, wait. But when you you know when you get your job, I mean when you get this job as a director, can yeah. Uh, see. Like, yes, correct, Rezi. I agree with you. Yeah. <laughs> and flick. So hello. Hello, you can see. <laughs> You can you can see the name list and all of it. I mean, you can anticipate. You can somewhat voice out, say, "Hey, you know, I don't want this guy." Can can you do that before? I mean, like, who 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 made this? Okay, or is it because of Basically, commercial okay, driven? Just to, just to give a general idea, right? Uh, for how not all the time, but I think yeah, most of the time, time. when you do television most programs, uh, <laughs> not only for Surya I think for even for Channel Five and the other yeah. Channel Eight and all that. Basically, Everywhere, across like. the board, right? Basically, the, the general rule is that the production house will recommend an artist. Correct. And then there's a lot of like 
10 times or 100 times uh, that they don't need dog. And then finally they say, okay, let's get uh, this guy. Okay, fine. Right? Mm. Right. And then secondly, uh, depending on the fortune house, whether they want to, uh, how to put it lightly? Uh, Razi, it's late sikit, Razi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now, now it's getting hotter lah. This discussion getting hotter now. Okay. okay. Because we are triggered to the question, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, hmm. okay, as I mentioned, how to put it, how to put it very lightly, yeah. Uh, depending on the portion house, if they want to kira macam, uh, Okay, let's put it in. Simpan duit untuk umrah, to do more umrah lah. Okay? Oh, okay. Uh, okay. So, <laughs> sometimes, <laughs> sometimes you have this, like, this group of really, really solid actors, right? Mm. And then, mm. and then the other things like the supporting, non, non-supporting, sorry, supporting speaking cast. Mm. Uh, this is when they just go take anybody Bar- who's, right. who's available. available. And these are the guys, maaf cakap, yang most of the time, yang come on set and just expect macam the classroom. Macam like the set to be a classroom for them. Oh, so not the lead, lead, not the lead roles huh, normally? The, normally not the lead like... roles. Uh, uh, not all of the time, but I think maybe, I don't know, 80% of the time lah. They are, sorry, 80% of the time they are the good ones. Hmm. But there's still the 20% oh, yang baru nak run Baru nak baru nak starting on the lead roles and all that stuff to still a bit, oh. a bit, a bit shaky lah. I see. So, so yang, yang selalunya the supporting roles or maybe the others itu would be really more not ready lah. Yes, more not ready and who is always ready for, with the camera to take, to take a selfie. My Oh, okay. Promo, promo, promo. <laughs> I think the hashtag. Okay, sure. <laughs> Yeah, so reading the script so, first time on their phone. <laughs> yes, yeah. Okay, reading the script first time on their phone. Okay. Come on, guys. Come on. Keep it coming, bro. <laughs> yeah, semua tun director dah cakap. Okay, that's yeah. Yeah. So sometimes I think for me, right? I okay as much as I want to point out to them, like, hey, what the hell are you doing, right? Sometimes I'm just too like kantor tu penat. Like, yeah. you know what, you can do whatever you like. I just... <laughs> I guess I guess I'm my job. Uh, so, I just want to focus on, 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 on the craft, on, on getting my shots and focusing on the, on the performance. Whatever you do, then yeah, that's it. And then, the, sometimes it really irritates me. Like, like, to be honest, like when I see these people, right, especially when the program is already out on air. Oh. And, you know, before you put the program out on air, there's this process of editing with the editors and where you are really hold up in the editing room and blah, blah, blah. And this is the time where you see that these so-called, um, the, 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 the young, the, 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 the supporting actors, the supporting cast, non, non-cast and all that, who come on set just because they want to be, just not for the purpose of performing, but for the purpose of, hey, I'm, I'm on set, I'm, I'm, I'm an actor. I'm an actor now. And when they look at the, when they, okay, when you are editing, somehow this is when the editor and like myself, right, have the hard time to sort of like piece their performance together. Sometimes it's really, really bad. Like they really can't act, like really non-actor can't act. But in the program, you really need to, to be fair to them or rather in the name of the whole program, you need to like make them look good overall, regardless of how they are. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so yeah. that's the sometimes that's my dilemma. So I'm like, and your sacrifices, like, sacrifices also, because you got to yes. include something that is not up to your standard, ever. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. So what happened was that, uh, maybe I'm just too patient on set, lah. But sometimes I, I just like you know when, so what happened was that, when the program is out on air, and then these people they look at the program and say, hey. Uh, uh, and then they get all these comments on Facebook. Oh, you're a good actor and all that. Sometimes I just roll my eyes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So that's the case, lah. Which I think hopefully those um, those group of people who somehow managed to watch this up to this far, right? Hopefully they can learn, lah. You know, 
Yeah, so that, you know, what you are doing is not really helpful for yourself and for the production and for your own, for the future of the industry. Industry. <laughs> because seriously, we don't need this kind of people on set. We need, uh, you know, before we come on committed, set. Committed, ready. Committed, you know? and really, kata orang tu niat datang kat set. Niat biar betul lah. Need, need, clear, need to be clear. Yeah, correct. Not just come on set to, for the fun of it. No, it's, it's you are really having fun at the expense of the other people. Yeah, to be honest. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, so, and the other things, uh, yeah, am I straight too far? <laughs> no, no, it's, it, this is what we want to hear, man. Yeah. Yeah. It's like good stuff. So, yeah, most of them don't even watch their own performance. They should be improved. Yes, I agree with you. Uh, <laughs> yes. yeah. yeah, so so that's the common issue which I think needs to be addressed um by by I think this platform is a good time that you know I that I really want to say up out there. Mm-hmm. Like, I think because I think as I mentioned. Uh, yeah, uh, it's not helpful, it's not healthy for the set. Because seriously, everyone, uh, they didn't tell it to your face because everyone were like, you know, like, uh, uh, just get it over and done with, yeah, that's it, you know. But after that, we don't call you again, lah, hopefully. But I'm sure they would, like, they get lucky, eh? Yeah, they get lucky. So that's, so that's the problem. I think they are, I, I don't know, they could be like someone's friend or something that they, they call. So I think get called. <laughs> get called all the time, yeah. Which I think, again, is, is not helpful. Lah. And the other thing, uh, what else? Ah? Uh, yeah, so that's basically the set. Lah. It's, it's like really, because I think for me, it's not, you know, when, when you come on set, it's not for me to teach you, it's not a class. It's, it's, uh, it's I'm actually working, you know, you, yeah. don't, you don't waste my time. And I don't want to waste the other crew, yang, the gaffer, yang, and I just realized. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, really, oh my God. Yeah, the guys, they are really tired. You know? They are really like 14 hours. They really, really can't be bothered to lie on your, your current on set. So they, they forgot lines, lah. I mean, like. Yeah, forgot lines. They forgot, much I'm like. Sometimes I, I just take them one side. I just say, do you really talk like that to your, to your sister or to your father or something? And then they'll be like, okay. oh, okay. Uh, then that's how hopefully they change, lah. Yeah, but then again. When I come to that point, that means, uh, yeah. And then, how I get away with, or rather how I sort of like, sometimes when you watch my, my, my programs, right, sometimes you can see that the shots, right, is, uh, how put it, uh, the bad acting. Uh, I tend, to, okay, for example, the bad acting between, in the conversation between two guys, right? Like A is the bad actor, like really, really bad actor. And you, you have the B, which is really the good actor, right? So in the scene, right, if you see that I use a lot of B to cover whatever composition A has. Uh, like uh, a so that's, yeah. I mean, <laughs> that can be helped. Because, yeah. I think the A, right, the actor A should thank me for that or thank the editor for that because we are covering your, your, your flaws. <laughs> your your flaws. <laughs> yeah, to make you look good. Because if we really show you I think we don't use the B to cover you. I think that's Abyss, that. Uh. Abyss, yeah, correct. Oh my god. Okay. Interesting. interesting. Okay, say <laughs> the good ones. Huh? <laughs> Kalau macam actors, uh, we say the good actors. Maybe you can just... Who do we love to work with? Uh? I mean, like, until now that... I mean, we can say good things. <laughs> yeah, correct, correct. Good things to really share. You know, so like, we can have references. At least the newer, newer guys would like... Oh, but then they yeah. Okay, lah, okay, lah, okay, lah. Maybe okay, I will follow. You know, sometimes when we say like this, they are like they are like lost, no? Yeah, they sometimes need we need reference. Right yeah, maybe they can somewhat put a a figure reference that la. they can refer. Uh, the good ones, lah, of course. Yeah, I think eh. Okay. Uh, before I get into that, I think what we can, what you need to, do, I mean, what these new actors need to do, right, is to firstly, hmm. uh, they need to go to school, tak payah kan? Or do you think it's helpful for Kalau boleh, school? okay. Kalau boleh, Kalau eh, boleh lah. you start from, you start from theater. Oh. Yeah. Theater. And then, just get, I don't know, some Kalau boleh lah. extra, Kalau boleh lah, extra role or something. And otherwise, you just, I mean, there's a lot of, uh, 
master classes video. That, that and it's a video, eh? <laughs> Yeah, correct. Video, and also, <laughs> because also acting, eh, sometimes acting, when, when you talk about acting, eh, people or even like directors, eh, I, I know directors, I mean, friends out there lah, who, are, who actually went up to NYU to study wow. directing. Wow. Uh, but when you look at their work, right? I mean, I'm not saying that my work is, 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 is good or what, but I think when you look at their work, having attained that degree in, at NYU, right? You're like, oh, Oh, itu je. <laughs> oh, so this is NYU. Wow. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. So those are the kind of things which I think is I think it's all instinct lah. I think if you have it, you have it. If you don't have it, you don't yeah. have it. And 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 I think, um, but it's good to learn to belajar from someone from all these uh experience seniors. Like this, seniors. Seniors. Yeah. Lah. And oh, and one more thing, right? About acting, I think it's not just about uh, okay, close up, turn left, turn right, and uh, on cue, nangis, and on cue, mara, and on cue, no, no, it's not that. Okay, if you think that's about that's acting, it's all about is you are wrong. Okay, uh, you know, I'm sure you heard of this thing called acting, it's all about reacting, right? So, I don't know, lah. okay, okay, <laughs> it's, it's, it's this thing where we always say, lah. uh, we can, I think, acting is about reacting to the to the to the person that, that to the moment yeah to the oh. moment yes correct to the yeah. moment yeah reacting to the moment uh yeah so i think these guys can learn from that uh just learn yeah it's, it's all about reacting it's not about oh acting i have to act how to cry i have to act how to be a 16 year old i have to act how to be a mother you know i have to act how to be a doctor i have to act how to be a lawyer how to act how to be how to talk like a policeman so you know? this is like, like playing tennis, you know, like you swerve, huh? then you anticipate, yes. then you got to, something you got yes, to, right. yeah. to anticipate yeah. what is like your receive yeah. on, like, upon. Yeah. Sometimes what, what I told all these actors, right, it's like, okay, you know that you're, you're casted as a policeman, right? You don't have to, you don't have to talk like a policeman. I mean, is, in the first place, is that how a policeman speaks? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean, right? Yeah. Or even like a lawyer, like sometimes when they have, oh, I'm a lawyer, I, I should speak like this. When I'm a doctor, I should speak like this. No, you know, I mean, if you speak, if you, okay, for example, uh, things like, simple things like, uh, uh, okay, when you, you play a, a doctor, I don't know who started this, but when you are a doctor, <laughs> you have to put that service code here. <laughs> okay. Then, like, right. like during lunch, I have a fresh orange, lah, eh? For fresh yeah, orange, like exactly. two, like. yeah, So, why, why? I mean, mm. I'm sure you stay in the hospital, right? And then you don't see doctors walking around no. with your stethoscope and like, oh, this is how I speak like a doctor. <laughs> Until now, girl. Okay, like. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really bad. And, and things like, okay, especially policemen, you know, when you are a policeman, you have to speak like that. Like, you know, like, I mean, policemen don't, don't speak like that. Or even a lawyer don't, don't speak like that. I mean, the lawyer friends that I have, they, they just chill. They, they don't speak like that. They just chill. Even the doctors that I talk, talk to, they just chill. They just talk. <laughs> it's, it's like during the conversation, when they, when they open their mouth, then you know they're a lawyer. Yeah, I think it's yeah. more of their expression, maybe the words they use, then you know, oh, the, knowledge, lawyer, right? like, the knowledge, uh, yeah. the, the lingo that they use, then you know, okay, this guy is a lawyer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the knowledge and all. Like, yeah. yeah. Because I, also, I, what I, I normally say is that people, you're already casted as a lawyer, right? Mm. You, don't have to, you don't have to speak like how you think a lawyer would speak. It's quite true. Speak. Uh, you're in a, in your, I mean, by your, by your scene, you know this is a doctor, right? Yeah. Yeah, correct. I mean, you don't have to like act like a doctor, like, or rather how, act like how you thought a doctor would speak. Because you're a director and you're a <laughs> That's one of the really, really kind of like irks that I always see people doing, like, which I sometimes I just tell off my, my actors, don't, don't do that. Just, just talk. Just feel like a human being. Yeah. That's, that's interesting. Yeah. And also, I think there's other things. Uh, yeah, there's, there's a lot of things on set, like, which I, I just sort of like sometimes I, I. Because I think where I'm coming from is that I expect realism and. In, in on set because sometimes I know some of the writers right which the script that I got I don't I, I don't want to mention who lah. like the writers when they write the script that's how they thought someone would act yeah yep. 
yeah but somehow they they misinterpret the whole character of how that for example a doctor or even simple things like a, a, how a teenager would would speak to react yeah, yeah to react and all that so sometimes i i see how they play on set and sometimes i'll just like you know yeah so is is that like, so i'll just try to put in more realism into the in, 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 into the, the whole thing the characters yeah. Rachel, you haven't answered my question bro <laughs> the actor or you know the or female actor that you think that hey you know we can take reference from this individual oh uh, yeah. let me see ah uh. mm. okay nothing i'm sure they are what okay just to be clear not in order of preference yeah of course just, of course of course just in you know just i think random lah like, mm. yeah random i think what you can say is that i don't know people like um postura of course and then oh. people like seri people like ariati people like uh yeah people like uh i mentioned this thing because these are the people that i normally work with or i have worked with right uh just to be fair to the rest uh yeah. i may have forgotten the rest but uh yeah because yeah. i mentioned this name because these are the people that i understand I, understand and selalu lah yep yang selalu and like siti aja yeah those kind of this kind of people because i think these are people they are actually trained in theater you know i think a lot of people forgotten that they are actually trained in theater and when they do tv right it's just that they are just um yeah they manage to translate whatever they learn on in theater to tv which i think makes the their performance much more meaningful yeah what about the guys the guys are hmm. uh the people that i have worked with previously uh Let me see. Yeah, banyak. Uh, I should have a few. Quite a few. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Sunny Hussein, Rafa. They, okay, these uh, are the names that I I normally would actually work like. With. Flix Shot was putting those names, and you actually like so oh, say those yeah. names, man. Okay. Oh, and then okay. Rosa. And then. Uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah. Many lah. Uh, Yeah, I think I think for us like the non, we also tahu siapa lah. Yeah, <laughs> Although we are not, know. yeah, it's it's not really like rocket science. Kita tengok macam, you know, we know lah. Yeah, but sometimes just so macam like what's his name ah? Mm-hmm. Uh, people like ah uh, Joe Lazari and all that stuff. Because I think that was the first time that I worked with him. Uh, in the Tekamina, so that was like I, I'm quite uh impressed. Impressed lah. I mean, Surprise. yes, I know he's a good actor or that, but. To be fair, that was the first time I worked with him. I so be, yeah, before that, so I'm basing this based on the first time that I worked with him. Right. And also, right. recently, I mean, for this upcoming drama, I also directed uh, Joe. Uh, what's that? Joe Lazari. I also uh, Johari. Johari. So he's yeah, his his character is quite interesting, lah. So you might want to watch. Yeah. So and then he totally transformed himself. And then people like uh, who else? Ah, uh, like Padli. Uh, they totally transform. Padli. Padli. Kamu sani? What? Sorry. Padli kamu sani? Padli kamu kan? Padli. Okay, apa kata ni? Padli siapa? Abdullah. Ah, Fadi Abdullah. Yes, yes, correct, correct. Uh, Fadi Abdullah. Fadi Abdullah. Okay, okay. Ah, Razid, 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 sampai pakai Fadi Abdullah. <laughs> ah, yes. Uh. Oh, okay, cool. And then, uh, dear, and then with who else? Ah, uh, and then, yeah, and then the new ones, yeah. Because this, this, okay, this I'm coming serious also, right? You, you watch all the the so-called the villains, ah, uh, they really like go over the top, and like, <laughs> and and they really work, lah. Like, people like, ah, uh, finally really go over the top. And then oh, Najib, Najib also went over the top. So just something to to look. So I was like laughing there at the monitor whenever I I see watch. Okay. So I turn, yeah. So and then the other one. I think we are just stuck here. Oh, sir. So the. Then only your your. Uh, and then the younger cast. Uh, they are doing uh, even Zoom is stuck. Yeah. So um, this is the first time I I also work with most of them. So hello, can yeah, you hear me? Edit it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now back at normal. Yep. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, it's still not. I'm okay. Yep. You're okay, Sunny. Any, Sunny? Start, start. I think everybody is commenting. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Yeah. Which Najib? Oh, Najib Aziz. Najib Aziz. Najib Aziz. Wow. Yeah, Najib. Najib Salman also, I've worked with him previously. So I know he's like, his caliber is like fantastic. Um, he can just play a villain. Yeah. Oh my god. And then uh, people like Najib. Yeah, Najib is, I don't know, sometimes when I work with him, I, I, I just, when he, he's on my set, I would just, just push it, just push him. Yeah, so that's when he, yeah, just something interesting to look up, to look up for, like, his, his, his character. Their, their practice on set. Right, right. I think that part we somewhat lost it, but okay, like hopefully we can record that part because now I my IG is clear, but you are not clear on uh, on uh, Instagram. Oh, is it? Yeah. So anyway, I think it's a very very good session. I mean, like we nearly went to what? Nearly, we are nearly two hours, no, Sunny? <laughs> Sunny, you still oh, there, yeah. right? Yeah. I mean, like I'm, I'm yes, glad that yes, I yes. think we should. Yeah. Any, we should have our last words. I mean, like, I think these guys have been with us for nearly two hours. I think the Kurapa is I think, maybe 12 plus? No? I think so? Oh, time? Yep. Yeah. Okay, so, like, we also don't want to keep them so long. And we wish that we can go longer. You know, when we talk, we can never end yep. here. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, like, um, any last words, you know, for these guys? I mean, I'm going to record this. I'm going to edit this, you know, in short forms. And we're just going to post right, right, it on right, Facebook right. or, you know. So, like, yeah. I think what, so I what think you... happened is that, yeah, please, I mean, for heaven's sake, uh, you know, okay, just <laughs> maybe I can <laughs> sort of, like, conclude this on a, on a, this <laughs> quote which I hmm. can share, uh, perhaps. You know, I was, I was attending this uh, filmmaking masterclass with this Iranian filmmaker, uh, Allah, nobody I forgot. Ah, uh, oh, Moksin Mak Malbaf. Yeah, sorry. Moksin Mak Malbaf. Yeah. So what happened was that he said something like, uh, treat filmmaking like as if you are on a prayer on your knees. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. So he said something like, okay, basically, and then he went on saying that when you are praying on your knees, right, this is when you like, just open up your hearts being honest and just basically um, consult in okay. <laughs> I'm just looking at the comments. No, can you not? Okay. So basically when you're on your knees, right, you are just praying to God and just be honest with yourself, right? So you feel losing it, bro. Uh, making films just Oh. Uh, no. Hello, hello. Shucks. Hello, bro. Are we are we okay, okay on Zoom? We are not okay on Zoom, no. Hilang, sayangnya. Damn it. Okay. Even on Zoom, I can't hear you. <laughs> Guys, my ID okay that or Sanif Sanif you cannot see, right? Oh goodness, sayang here. Oh boy. Okay, I'm trying to get him again. This uh sada hold up. I think the punya laptop lah. He even left Zoom, say. Sanif, where are you? Ah. Yes, brother. Sanif. 
Sanim. Where are you? Sanim. Ah. Bro, can you hear me? Bro, you're on the Zoom, right? Okay. Zoom, okay? Bro, 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 bro. Bro, can you hear me? Bro, can you hear me, bro? <laughs> Sanif is on Zoom, tapi aku tak boleh dengar lah. Mak kacau lah, potong steam. Sanif, can you hear me, Sanif? Sanif, can you hear me? Sanif, if you can hear me, can you just go to to IG? Just join, just, uh, just, just Sanif, Sanif. Oh, yeah, sayangnya. Taklah bro, zoom zoom pun tak ada. Kau rasa tak ada rezeki lagi? Geng. <laughs> okay lah geng, kau rasa sekarang kita kita aja, kita logo pun cantik. Nanti aku just message Anif. Anif, are you there on zoom not? Anif, why can't hear me? Yeah, can I'm you hear on me? Sanif? Sanif, can you hear me? Can you go, can you enter, ni? enter IG? I can hear you, I can hear you. Okay, can you just enter can IG? You. Yeah, can you enter IG? I can hear. Okay, okay, good. You're on IG already? Yeah, okay, so now we can. Okay. Okay, cool. We finish off on our IG, then that's it. Okay, cantik. I think okay. we are still there. All right, all right, all right, all right. Sorry, Alex, I'm still here. Hmm. Okay, you were saying apa yang last sentence tu? The Iranian oh. guy, the Iranian director. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Let's 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 go back again. Uh, ah. this guy, Moxin Makmalva, he said that filmmaking is something about. Uh, okay, filmmaking is equivalent to when you are praying to God on your knees. Okay. And so what happened was that when you pray to God, right, when you're on your knees praying, you are basically being honest, uh, being honest and you're basically opening up your, yourself, opening up your heart. Lah. So when you do your films, uh, just, this is when, this is a good opportunity to you to be honest with yourself and to your audience. And yeah, so that's how, that's what filmmaking is all about. Okay, you mean? Hello.
Mm, okay, you're back. Hey, I lost you on Zoom. Okay. So I end the Zoom, eh?